D. Diplotene or diplonema. The beginning of diplotene can be recognized by the dissolution of the synaptonymal complex by the repulsion activity between homologous chromosomes. As a result, the bivalents of homologous chromosomes are separated from each other except at the sites of chiasmata regions. At this stage, the chiasmata are clearly visible as X-shaped links between non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes. In oocytes of some vertebrates, diplotin can last for months or years. E. Diagenesis. This stage is marked by the terminalization of chiasmata. This displacement of chiasmata towards the terminal position is called terminalization. The bivalents become very thick and short and migrate to the periphery of the nucleus. The nucleus begins to disappear. The nuclear membrane disrupts and the chromosomes are released into the cytoplasm. Diakinesis represents transition to metaphase. Metaphase 1. It is characterized by the appearance of bipolar spindle operators. The bivalent chromosomes move to the equator of the cell and arrange themselves with their centromeres directed towards opposite poles and their arms towards the equator. The movement of bivalent chromosomes towards the equator is called chromosomal congression. The homologous chromosomes are fused by the chiasmata at the terminal ends. Anaphase 1. It is characterized by the movement of each homologous chromosomes towards the respective poles without the division of the centromere. This phenomenon is called segregation or disjunction of chromosomes. As a result, the diploid number of chromosomes is reduced to half. Telophase 1. The nuclear membrane and nucleolus appear. Cytokinesis follows and is called dyad of cells. The stage between two meiotic divisions is called interkinesis and is generally short-lived. Interkinesis is followed by prophase 2. Meiosis 2 or homotypic division or second meiotic division. Meiosis 2 is equivalent to mitosis. It is completed in two stages. They are karyokinesis 2 and cytokinesis. Karyokinesis 2, prophase 2. It is similar to mitotic prophase. The nuclear membrane and mm. nucleolus appears and chromosomes are organized. Each chromosome has two chromatids which remains attached to centromeres. All the chromosomes will be free in cytoplasm. Metaphase 2. It is similar to mitotic prophase, but dissimilar to it in the formation of two spindle apparatus perpendicular to the one formed at the metaphase 1. Anaphase 2. It begins with simultaneous splitting of centromere of each chromosome, allowing them to move toward opposite poles of the cell. Telophase 2. The daughter chromosomes arrived at the poles, become thin and transform into chromatin. Nuclear membrane and nucleolus are recognized. Thus, at the end of telophase 2, four daughter nuclei are formed.